Hi lovelies, welcome. I'm so glad you could be with me today. We are doing a messages from your person uh, reading today and what we're going to be looking at is just getting straight into the messages, okay? Normally in my normal format that I do, we look at their current energy, how they're feeling, etc. But today we're just going straight into the messages. Uh, you will have a pick a, uh, an ornament as well in a minute between a Buddha, a cat and an angel. Um, but you're probably wondering why I've got this paper here and my candles haven't been lit is because I want to introduce you to a special little uh, friend of mine. I'm just going to go and get her. Hang on a minute. Here she is guys, this is my beautiful little girl, here she is. <laughs> she literally landed on my back doorstep and my, I just let my cat out the door and I didn't realise there was a bird there and I heard this little screeching noise and um, I ran out and um, chased my cat away because I could hear a bird but I couldn't see her and then suddenly I saw this little beautiful yellow bird sitting on the back of my doorstep. And I was just amazed, a little bit shocked, but amazed. And she's so tame, I put my finger under her belly and she jumped on my finger straight away. And I had to go next door to try and get a, like a cage or something. And so I door knocked all around the neighborhood. Nobody owned her, nobody knew where she came from. And I took her to the vet and she was there for a couple of weeks. And I said to them, look, if no one claims her, I'd love to have her because she's just... She's, you know, she's come to me and she's pretty much chosen me. That's how I see it. And um, I see it like good karma, you know, is coming in. And it's so interesting because I was doing a manifestation, uh, a manifesting ritual like every day I do my affirmations. And I see my new property one day where I have these um, <clears throat> injured birds or birds that are, you know, not able to return to the wild. And then suddenly she's landed on my doorstep and unfortunately my cat did swipe her on the feather on her wing um, so that's why I took her to the vet as well straight away because I thought well she's injured she needs to be looked at but luckily it was just a scratch and she's fine now so hello say hello to my audience <laughs> She's too busy pruning herself right now, but she's absolutely gorgeous. She's very friendly, very tame, putting feathers everywhere. And I've got the paper there in case she does anything. That's the whole reason for the paper. But uh, the other thing I wanted to do is show um, to, you know, put it out there, guys. I haven't named her yet. So I was thinking I might um, ask you guys, you know, for any names you might come up with to name her. I thought it'd be really nice for you guys to get involved. She's just really, really beautiful. Come on. Come on. Good girl. <laughs> so she's just absolutely adorable. So any names you can think of, guys, let us know. She's just so cute and she might become a little bit of a regular on the video. She gets used to uh, me in this room. She's quite chirpy. You might hear her in the background in a minute. I'll go and put her in on her cage and see how she goes but she's just so gorgeous say bye bye <laughs> so guys you have the choice um, between the little Buddha smiling <laughs> as I usually do smiling Buddha or number one and number two is the cat We've got number three, which is the little angel with the cross, the praying angel. So I'll give you a moment to focus on the ornaments as to which one you want to choose. You can put your person in mind, take a deep breath, focus on the ornaments, and we'll get started shortly. So, hi group one, well, welcome. So glad you could be here. You chose a little cute smiling Buddha. I'll just put him over here. 
So let's have a look then. I'm going to look at all these different shadows, um, shadow messages, light messages, uh, all different kind of messages for your person or from your person. Um, and there's no set format that I've really got. I'm just going to go to where spirit guides me today, okay? So take the messages that resonate, leave the ones that don't. Um, but let's have a look at what your person wants to say to you today. Wow, they flew out. Surrender to the present feeling. So your person wants you to surrender to what you're presently feeling right now. If you're feeling love for your person, allow your heart to just flow with joy and love. Open your heart to that. If you're feeling frustrated, allow yourself to feel frustrated. You know, analyze why. Look within. Um, and even if it's sadness, try and work through that as well. Sit in your uh, emotion. And they're saying, I want to hug you right now. So maybe they also want you to surrender to that feeling of wanting to hug them and opening up. Maybe you're holding back. Maybe there's a bit of a, a little bit of a grudge or a little bit of um, a stubbornness there. And they just want you to be able to surrender to them. These can be from their higher self as well, guys, these messages. Uh, open your heart. There it is right there. Open your heart. Surrender to the present feeling of wanting to open your heart to hug them um, because they want to hug you. <clears throat> and I am fortunate so this is the little divine uh, radiant oracle that I created which basically is from them saying I am fortunate to have you in my life I'm fortunate for these lessons that you gave me or that you give me and I am diplomatic so they're learning to be tactful you know they want to make sure they're not hurting your feelings in any way anything they've probably come out with they didn't mean to hurt your feelings with they they might just have foot in mouth sometimes i am kind so they are really have a kind heart and i am focused so they're focused on bringing you know um healing i feel and harmony to this they don't want conflict with you well there's a few here I'm thinking about you right now. So as you watch this video, they're thinking about you right now. I wish I was kissing you instead of missing you. And I can't stop thinking about you. You are on my mind 24-7. <laughs> so they're really thinking about you, like full on, wanting to kiss you, wanting to hug you, uh, a focus, you know, they're really thinking about uh, looking back and reflecting on were they kind to you in this? Have they been kind? And when I first met you, I honestly didn't know you were going to be this important to me. And I need you because I love you, rather than I love you because I need you. And I'll keep you warm. Oh, how cute. So, you know, maybe for some of you, you were out in a cold night or it could have been winter. They might have lent you their jacket, you know, literally like that romantic scene where you see it in the shows, you know, where the, the man will, you know, give, it's usually the masculine that will give his um, jacket to the feminine. <clears throat> and it's just a really sweet gesture. And I feel like your person just wants to really, could be either way, guys, um, you know, they just want to keep you warm. They want to uh, bring warmth into your life. Let's set this love free and wash over me. Beautiful. So they don't want to hold back on this love. They want you to really open up. This love was meant to last. I'm forever yours. So transformation, divine timing, higher purpose, faith, trust, believe. Your person's undergoing a transformation. They're believing in a divine timing now. Maybe they are aware of a spiritual higher purpose that they have here. Um, but even for the two of you together, they might believe that, you know, things are working in its own time and that you guys do have a higher purpose together and they're trying to have faith and trusting and believing but they're also asking for you to have faith and trust and believe in their transformation okay as well and it's so silly of me to want you so badly and yet keep it so concealed I'm your secret admirer so they could be not telling anyone about their feelings for you they might not be telling you 
and I want to have a family with you one day. So they're thinking about how sweet you are. They really want to come into your life and embrace you and have this beautiful life with you. It's almost like that Seven of Cups energy with this reading where they're just fantasizing about this. And I, I found myself when I found you. And I want a new beginning with you. Isn't this so sweet? Oh my God. Not joking. This person's got such a beautiful energy. I love this. I love how they're feeling about you. <clears throat> it kind of reminds me of like that happy smiling Buddha <laughs> that we saw. Like they just can't get their smile off their face when they think about you. And I will wait for a sign from you. So it could be that you might be uh, at a distance from each other right now, maybe emotionally undergoing something together. You might be separated. You might be in separation or no contact for some of you. Uh, everyone's going to have a different story, but they want to wait from a, for a sign from you. It's like they are kind of sitting back waiting. And I wish I could share my good news with you. Yeah, so for a lot of you, you're not in contact um, but there's something that's happened perhaps just recently in their life. They really wish they could share with you. Could be some like part of that transformation right now undergoing that they're undergoing in their life right now. And I left you before you could leave me. So yeah, some of you are definitely in separation. So your person might have really freaked out. They weren't expecting this, as it said here. They didn't realize how important you were going to be to them. And now they're really feeling it. Like sometimes the absence makes the heart grow fonder as well. So it could have been that you guys had to take a break, had to step back from each other. Maybe there was a, uh, something that really triggered this um, breakdown, if there was a breakdown here. And they're, they're feeling like maybe they needed to leave before you could hurt them. And you came closer than anyone. And we both know I am not the one for you. So... This is a very contradictory kind of message because on one hand, they're just waiting for you to surrender and open your heart to them. They want you. They're thinking about you. They want a life with you. Um, but this is their shadow message, okay? So sometimes in these readings, there will be, I mean, we do have this loving energy, but then there can be insecurities within us as well. And I feel like that's where this is coming from, is that maybe in some ways they do feel a little bit um, like they have a low self-esteem. Maybe they feel that they're not ready yet for you or that you're not looking at them in that light. I know I messed up everything. Okay, that's why they feel that way. Because they, they feel like they don't deserve you in some ways because they just didn't want to hurt you. They just, oh, out of all the people in their life, they didn't want to hurt you. <clears throat> so absence. As, did I just say absence makes the heart grow fonder? As more time passes by, I feel a deeper void without you in my life. So they're really missing you. And codependency, I need you. So it's funny because we said before, I love you. No, I need you because I love you. But this one's also saying, I need you. So there is that shadow aspect to your person where they do start to really miss you and they really feel like they need you in their life. And look, memory, I miss you. Yeah, absolutely, they miss you. They miss you. They miss the good times. They're, they're fantasizing about this new life. This is in the Shadows Oracle, so some messages might be a little harsh, but this is from their Shadows side, don't forget. Their insecurities, their fears, not feeling good about themselves. Uh, did something else to turn over? Sometimes it's hard to know. All right, so this one says, I am different now. So they're undergoing some kind of transformation. Maybe there has been some time apart, you know, some time has gone by between you, and they're letting you know that I've changed, I am changing. I'm not the same and I don't know what to say so maybe while they're holding back too they just don't know what to say and I hope I will see you again sometime oh that's sweet that really is sweet wow okay so we've got these my life has been so cold and lonely without you in it see I'll keep you warm but I need your warmth also and I'm dreaming no, sorry, I'm drowning myself in work to bury the memories of you and no one compares to you. No one compares to you. 
You have taught me the meaning of unconditional love. Wow, you've really inspired this person. You have sparked something in their soul they did not see coming. They, they are absolutely, wow, you know, they can't believe it. That someone so beautiful has stepped into their life. And I think that on, on one hand, they didn't know what the hell to do with it, you know. You are the song of my heart. So some of you could be musicians. They love your voice, I'm hearing. I know you are my other half. They love your voice. So even if it's your speaking voice, they just love it. It's, it resonates with them. And no one lights me up and inspires me like you do. Yeah, you inspire them. My love for you goes so deep. And I miss your sunshine in my life so much. I miss your warmth. I, I miss the way you light me up, see? They really see you as this glowing beacon of beautiful light um, that they're just drawn to. They just really look up to you. <clears throat> and some of you actually might be in the spotlight. You know, you might be a celebrity. You might be a well-known person in your community. Um, you might be someone who just enjoys being out there and helping others. And they just really look up to you for that. So I can't get oh I can't get my mind off of you distracted. Look at this. I'm thinking about you 24/7. I can't stop thinking about you. I need you. I miss you. This is what's coming through with this whole thing here. Well, wow, there's a few here. Sabotage. Things aren't always as they appear. So it seems to me that maybe there was something they said or did. It does say I left you before you could leave me. Maybe there was something they said to trigger something, you know, subconsciously even. Um, and it might have appeared that they really didn't want this or that they really did go out of their way to hurt you when really it was just their own fears. And you feel so far away, distance. Yeah, they really do feel this, this void. Look, transformed. I'm not the same person anymore because I am different now. So they're transforming their life. They've done a lot of self-work perhaps. And desperate, I can't do this anymore. So they do feel sometimes that they just can't do this they can't hang on and just keep wanting you and missing you and thinking about you and fantasizing and all this stuff they just feel sometimes that um they don't know how to come forward they don't know what to say see it said here somewhere i don't know what to say i don't know where it is now um yeah i don't know what to say i adore your innocence naive so they see you as like almost like a childlike quality here where there's just so much about you that's just so innocent and beautiful and adorable and um, they feel like in some ways they might have really hurt you and they didn't want to hurt you at all. Um, I need to start saving myself instead of everyone else responsible. So that's what they're also doing with part of their transformation is looking after themselves, taking responsibility for their actions, their life. And we will find each other one day. Oops. Yeah, that's what they really fantasize about, finding you. And I cannot deny my love for you. And the tide of time will always bring you back to me. And in you, I see the depth of my life's true meaning. <clears throat> I don't remember if I did these ones, but I'm going to... I don't think I did, so I'll do them. So there's a strange and deep connection between us. So they're very aware that there is a very different energy to the two of you that there's something very special there but it's also strange to them and I know who you are to me so yes they feel like they've known you before that you are their other half it said before I tried to stop these feelings but now you are burning hotter and brighter than ever within me they've tried to let go guys uh, they've tried to let go of you your person has um, and they haven't been able to because they tried to let go because they thought it was the best thing to do um, I want you to be happy. I really did try my best. And it's just a wave in your gorgeous ocean. This was the path we were meant to follow. It's over. So it's almost like they recognized that it had to be this way. You had to both have this break. You had to have this end. Um, I promise. So there's a promise that they want to give to you. They, they realized that it had to end because otherwise they wouldn't have been able to transform and learn uh, from this. Just getting this card. We were good together. <clears throat> 
Yeah, and it could be for some of you too, it's over for a karmic cycle or karmic partnership they're in. If they've had a like a, you know, a relationship with someone else, it's a karmic. They're saying like that's, it's over. Maybe, you know, you were the catalyst to make them realize that, wow, I, I can't be with that person anymore. I need you. So I haven't deleted your number from my phone and I've never cared for anyone like I do you. And I know we communicate telepathically, but I long for your loving touch. And you are the first person I think of when I wake up and the last person I think of before I fall asleep. So true. And the silence is deafening me. Oh yeah, a lot of you are not in contact. We'll get a shadow message. So they say, I don't know what you want from me or this connection. So there's confusion here about what you want. Maybe you've gone dead cold and, you know, stone, what does it say? <laughs> Silent on them. Um, and they're just not sure what you want. Um, and I've withdrawn because I feel numb inside. So let's see their, sh their light message to you. I'm undergoing an inner transformation. Please be patient with me. Twice now we've seen the words transformed, transformation. So this is so uh, significant that your person is actually undergoing a transformation. And I wish I could be with you. Now, if they're a masculine, I do have masculine cards here. Just a special message for some of you who want to hear from your divine masculine. I'm understanding. I'm facing my truths and going within to become a better person. I know I have a purpose here and I want to be able to work on that. I know I have a higher purpose here and I want to, uh, to be able to work on that. So they're understanding and waking up now. Um, and yes, going within to become a better person, I need to transform. I have a higher purpose. I'm understanding that now. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you needed me. I wanted to be, but I was afraid of letting you down. Yeah, they've just sabotaged it because they didn't feel like they were good enough for you at that time. So what else do I need? So doubts of the divine masculine could be significant for some of you feminines here. So I wear a mask to hide my vulnerabilities. And my moods fluctuate and my mind changes frequently. I don't want to hurt you. And that's why they're trying to remain focused. I shut myself off emotionally often. Could you handle that? So there is this part in them that they're trying to work on right now. But it is part of them at this time. So let's get a last message for you. Just to see what's going on in your connection over the next month. What do we need to know? Spirit, what do we... Well, there it is. Oh, look, thinking of you. So amazing that this has come out again. Your person's definitely thinking about you so strongly. So they might not actually take action. They're really just stuck in their own thoughts right now, standing their ground. Yeah, they're still going to hold their ground. They're not coming forward. I really feel like your person's waiting for a sign from you, as it said before. Let's get one last card. I'm going to look at the... Uh, Another energy card here. What do we need to know? What's that doing there? Oh, the cards have turned over. Hang on a minute. <clears throat> so show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. So show the world the real you. Don't, don't be afraid to shine your light, guys. Because your person really loves that about you and communication is key i do feel like there could be communication coming through um balance spirituality and practicality full moon in pisces new moon in gemini for that one and look at the bigger picture full moon in sagittarius So look at the bigger picture, shine your light, show the world the real you, balance spirituality and practicality and look at the bigger picture as to what's going on with your person as well and maybe you'll be the first one to reach out. 
um, if you feel inclined to, guys. So that is your reading today. I hope it's resonated and I look forward to connecting with you next time. Don't forget to put, to put a green heart in the comments section below. If you want to be in the draw to win a private reading with me or to go in the draw to win a deck of my cards, Divine Love Messages from your Twin Flame Soulmate, and they say to you, I wish you were here. That's, uh, that's it, guys. That's exactly what's going on. So I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings. Hi, group two. Welcome, guys. You chose the gorgeous little pussycat. I'm going to put her there. And I'm just going to basically go towards, uh, you know, be drawn to any message cards that I am. Not any particular uh, order that I'm doing this today. Uh, and this could be messages from your person's shadow side, from their higher self. Just take the messages that resonate, leave those that don't. Uh, and let's get started, guys. So let's see. What does your person want to share with you? What do they want to say to you? Your touch ignites a sun within me. Hmm, beautiful. So you inspire them. When you touch them, you know, just it lights them up. And we tread a path of infinite meaning together. So it's like they know that this is like forever. That's how they see this. And the tide of time will always bring you back to me. So no matter where you go in life, whether you you know have to part your sep you know go separate ways and part ways, um, if something calls you away from the connection, you'll always come back to each other. Just being near you is intoxicating. <laughs> so it's like you are really, like your person has so much passion for you, but they almost feel a bit drunk, like love drunk being around you. <laughs> so cute. It's like, when have you ever been in that love bubble? You know, it's almost like the honeymoon phase. Um, and it's that love bubble where you're just so in love with each other and they just so like almost feel like they're love drunk over you. It's just so cute. And I love you. Beautiful. Whoop. And you speak to me through music. So they're hearing songs and it's reminding them of you. Um, they listen to lyrics and they're thinking about you as if you're speaking to them through those lyrics. Uh, some of you might be musicians as well or your person could be. And I feel you even though we are apart. So a lot of you might be in um, separation right now. And we will be together again. Yeah, absolutely. This is a reading that is talking about separation, I feel. Um, yeah, they're really feeling this distance. And there's a lot of telepathy between you right now. And the, the main message I get with this is that no matter how far away you are, whether it be physically or emotionally right now, you're spiritually connected always. I hide behind material things, so they might be getting really stuck into their work life, finances, their material world, um, and might be afraid of showing their true self. You know, they might be feeling maybe they're hiding behind a mask, maybe they're hiding uh, their vulnerabilities away. And I regret lying to you. So that might resonate with some of you that your person just was lying about their feelings. Maybe they weren't uh, forthcoming with some truth that you needed to hear. Maybe you heard it from someone else. Um, but there's something about this that's really significant for some of you. And it could have been why this ended. Okay, just for some of you. I replay our conversations over and over. And I look for you everywhere. So yeah, this is a reading for those who are not together. If that's not resonating with you, you can choose another pile. But I really feel this one is about you guys being in separation here. Um, yeah, I can't promise the other readings are going to be the same or not. So, okay. As I said, just take the messages that do resonate, leave what doesn't. But yeah, I feel like there's a lot of regret with this person. I'm afraid of rejection. That one's standing up. It's so hard not talking to you. Yeah, this is definitely a no contact situation. Your beautiful face is always on my mind. 
and I feel like I'm waiting for something that isn't going to happen. So they're waiting, they're sitting back waiting, thinking about this, looking for you everywhere, feeling lost. Um, when they're thinking about you, they're just almost like that uh, intoxicated type of energy. They just almost like obsess obsessing about this in some way. Um, a long tight hug from you would be perfect right now. And I'm battling my demons right now. You are the song of my heart. You speak to me through music. You are the song of my heart. Definitely could be musicians here. Um, but they are definitely also listening and hearing music that where they feel that you're speaking to them through that music. So some of you could, you know, if you're spiritual and you're aware, you could be actually telepathically sending your person a song um, or even playing it, like even you playing and listening to a song and thinking about your person is a telepathic message that they're picking up on. And I can see eternity in your eyes. See, there's that infinite meaning together, eternity. They see that you're together forever. That's how they see you. You are their forever person. And I feel so much joy with you. It's like I'm a kid again. Yeah, when they're with you, it's like they're just so in this space where they just feel alive and that you are just the bee's knees and your words keep ringing in my head. So whatever last conversation you might've had or yeah, I feel like um, they're remembering the good times. They're remembering a beautiful conversation you had together that made them feel really joyful. And you're my wish come true. So they're wishing upon a star for this to come true that, you know, that this is going to work out and opposites attract. So it could be that you are very different people. You know, sometimes with the twin flames, it can be opposites as well. Not only are you twins and, and have a lot of similarities and a lot of things are the same, but you can also um, clash in some ways, like even soulmates, you know, opposites attract. So they might see that you are very different. You might have different backgrounds, cultures, religious beliefs, but they feel like you could make it work or they're hoping and wishing it can work. And walk with me into destiny. They do feel this is a destined connection. And let's see this love free and wash over me. Oh, no, let's set this love free and wash over me. And I'm miserable without you. They are missing you. Wow, they're flying out. Okay. <clears throat> Time to flip the page and begin a new chapter in our story. I'm building up the strength to come back to you soon. Have faith, I'm coming. So this is definitely someone who's, who's really sees you in their path, they see you in their future, they want you in their future, they feel like you're meant to be together forever. Um, but they are afraid of rejection. And um, our story will be the greatest love story ever told, you'll see. And some of you might have even talked about growing old together. Um, we both weren't prepared for any of this. We both need more time and healing before it is safe for us to be together. So they're aware of this, that they need to learn and grow in themselves. They know that you need to. Um, and it's like, it's almost like they're thinking it's just not the right time. Can we forgive and forget surrender? So it could be that someone's holding a bit of a grudge right now. There might be some resentments. Um, you know, you might be... You might have just cut off communication and they, just, and they might be also a bit stubborn in some ways. But I feel like, yeah, they really, they want this to work out. They want someone to give in. I don't know which path to take, choices. So they're not sure how to go about perhaps coming towards you. And you made me feel alive again, muse. You are their muse. And I'm afraid of opening up my heart again because they're afraid of rejection. 
Okay, that's what this is. And compassion. Thank you for caring when nobody else did. So they're recognizing that you have a beautiful soul and that you were there for them, you know, and, and that they feel bad that they weren't there for you when you needed them. So let's have a look. More messages here. Wow. Baggage. I'm sweeping away toxicity to make room for what's truly important. So they might have been carrying some stuff that was getting in the way of this connection. Uh, it could be their karmic family stuff, there's karmic cycles, past baggage from last relationships, um, just toxic stuff in their life that might have been impacting on this connection. Energy. You've been thinking about me because I've been thinking about you. We're connecting. So there's that telepathic stuff going on here. And you're feeling each other's energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Interesting, my throat just closed up right then. So it kind of shows me that they can't communicate with you, but they're telepathically communicating with you. So forbidden, even though we shouldn't, I still want you. So some of you might be in another connection. They might still be in a karmic uh, connection with someone else, or you might be. Or they just feel like it's just not the right time. We shouldn't get together now, but I really want to, you know, connect with you. Wow, what the hell was that? That just went flying. Well, I don't know why, but that was weird. I don't trust you. So there's some real issues here, and it goes back to this stuff here. And it could have been that there was a back and forth thing going on where they might have hurt you, and then you hurt them, you know, through different actions or words, and they just don't trust. But that's their shadow message. This is the shadows. So, you know, there's all this loving energy, but there's also a shadow side where there's fears and insecurities. Things like that come through as well. Hang on, where are you? I don't need your approval. So that's just part of that stuff coming through. And I hope you're happy. They do want you to be happy, but part of them doesn't really want you to be that happy without them. <laughs> if that makes sense. And I took the easy way out. So they might have been the one to back off from this. And might have really hurt you by doing so. And that's because they were sabotaging, perhaps afraid of rejection. Maybe not happy with the way that you spoke to them. I'm sending you signs. So you might see feathers, you might hear music, because we have got the music um, cards come up twice. So you might be hearing music. Their higher self is sending you signs. You might see their name somewhere. You might hear overhear a conversation that really just intrigues you, like makes you think, hang on a minute, that's what we was talking about, or it's just like a message from the universe. Um, you might suddenly smell their scent. You know, it's, it's just interesting how these things happen. So it could be that someone walks past you with the same perfume or deodorant that they wear uh, and instantly makes you think of them. You might hear a song on the radio. You might be dreaming of them. There's different ways to receive signs from your person. Could be numbers. You might have a bit of deja vu going on. Fear held me back. And that's what this is, a fear of rejection. So can you feel me with you? And yes, your feelings are correct. I need space right now. So yes, your feelings are right that they do need space right now. Even though they really don't really deep down want to have that space from you. They really are um, needing that right now. Just to get, just to, um, just to understand themselves a bit more too, I think, in this. To grow in themselves. So I want to create with you. I want to create a family with you. I want to create a beautiful home with you. I want to create music with you. I want to create so many beautiful things with you. It could be anything, but they want to create with you. And I want you by my side. So I want you by my side so we can create things together. Because you might both be very creative people as well. I tried to stop these feelings, but now you are burning hotter and brighter than ever within me. And all I ever wanted and needed is in you. <clears throat> so some bonds cannot be broken. They really believe that this is a very significant bond that you are meant to be. You are destined to be together forever. They might even believe in twin flames or, you know, soulmates. You're going to heal. 
So they do feel like you'll, you will be fine in this. You're pretty resilient. You have this beautiful light within you. And I should have said I love you more, which is interesting because it says here I love you. Maybe that is significant to some of you who didn't really hear that from your person or didn't believe them. Um, I wasn't always worthy of your trust. And separation is only illusion. <laughs> Once again, the tide of time will always bring you back together or back to me, they're saying. And I have no regrets. So in other words, I think deep down they'd have some regrets of hurting you. But I think as well they realize that it's a learning and, it, and it's helping them to grow in themselves. And helping you as well. And they don't have any regrets over being with you. Holy crap, hang on. There's all these cards flying out. These are my own little Divine Radiant Self Oracle. So they're saying I'm encouraged. I feel encouraged to, to work on myself and I am fit. So they are working on themselves in the material world, perhaps feeling encouraged to get fit, get healthy, feel good about their appearance, their body image, gain their confidence. They want to be able to fit into this with you, you know, get, get themselves right. And I am fortunate to have you in my life. They're very fortunate to have learned these lessons with you. And I am loyal. They want you to know that they're loyal. And if they weren't loyal before, they're stepping into this energy. And I am protective. So they want to be protective of you. They want to look after you. They didn't want to hurt you. Um, yeah. Let's see what that is. Yeah. Um, I wish I could tell you how I truly feel, but these feelings I have for you scare me and I need to learn more. Can we talk? And sometimes at night I'll watch the stars and talk to you. Wow. Okay. They fly out sometimes really weird. Sometimes I drive by our special spot and imagine we are there together again. And, you know, if you haven't actually connected in the physical in any way, they drive, they drive by a special spot. Um, maybe it's somewhere in nature around their, um, you know, house, and they envision you there together. I don't just want sex. I want intimacy with you, to touch you, admire you, to smile at you and adore you, to laugh and share the good times and cry together in the bad. I want it all and I want it with you. And I want to wake up next to you. Do you miss me like I miss you? I long for you every day. Oh my God, guys, it's so sad. It's so sad. I'm tuning into their energy. Wow, you know, it's, it's really sad. I feel like this person has cried over you. All right, let's have a look at their shadow message. <clears throat> mm. Right now, affection is something I find hard to give and receive. So that's why they need that space to work themselves out. And you may not always trust me because I don't always trust myself. And do you see how they said before, I was never worthy of your trust. or I wasn't always worthy of your trust and, and I don't trust you was the message here as well somewhere. Um, really what they're saying is I don't trust myself. I didn't trust myself with your feelings, with my feelings. You know, how things... I don't know if I did these ones, did I? Yeah, I've done so many cards, I can't remember if I did these now, but I'll do them. Watching you stand in your power turns me on. So once again, they're, they're looking up to you. They really are admiring you from afar. And I watch you on social media. Yeah, they're watching you from afar. They're watching you on social media. Um, and feeling like whatever you're doing, whatever you're posting, whatever your photographs are, they're like really looking at you like, wow, you're so hot, you're so sexy, you're so beautiful in your power. I see you as my future partner. And you have taught me the meaning of unconditional love. So you really did inspire your person. I know there is a deep soul connection between us. All right, now if you have a masculine, if you're a feminine Asking about a masculine energy. Let's have a message from your masculine. I'm learning. You are unique and special and I've never met or known anyone like you before. You have opened me up to things I never knew were possible like the power of this love. You have opened my heart to the truth and I'm grateful. 
They have never expected this in a, in, at all to have happened to them. I'm owning up. While we have been apart, I, am, I have been learning who I am. I really have changed and I want you to know that you can count on me to do the right thing. I am coming into my loyal energy here. I'm realizing I know I have blocked our union and I know I'm really blocking myself. And I'm growing up. I get attention from others online and in person, but it does nothing for me except boost my pride and ego. I'm stepping away from all of that because that's no longer important to me. So there might have been a person that was just maybe didn't have boundaries, maybe were, was a little bit inconsiderate, inconsiderate of your feelings, um, might have been talking to other people, you know, and might have caused insecurities in the connection in some ways. Um, but they're owning it now. They're, tr they're learning. They're realizing that they need to, well, they're realizing what they've done, okay, how they've blocked this union. And they are learning. And with, le with le uh, lessons, I should say, there's also growth. And so because of that, it's because they've owned it, they're acknowledging it, okay, of what, what's happening on their part of things. They might have blamed you for things in the past and they're now realizing, well, it's actually really things I've been doing here as well that have really caused the breakdown of this. Your words affect me too much sometimes. You might have given some cold hard truths and they weren't ready to hear it. And I wear a mask to hide my vulnerabilities. Did we see that before about I hide behind material things? And I care too much what my friends think about our situation. So that might have been the issue in the past as well. Caring and giving too much energy, you know, to that. Giving too much power away to those things. Alright, so let's have a look then at the energy around the connection. What's going to happen perhaps over the next month between you both? So we've got autumn release. So it's autumn in Australia right here in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, but it's just the energy as well for you guys in the Northern Hemisphere. It doesn't matter. But it's talking about this time for releasing the old. Okay, it's time to let go. Surrender. Um, I think your person said here, can we please forgive and forget? We need to surrender things between us. We need to release the resentments. We need to let go of the old stuff. And I think they're also letting go of old toxic patterns you know, stuff from their past karmic cycles here as well. And they're trying to do that so that they can make room for this and then communication can come through. So once this is able, you know, things are being able to be released, they're working on themselves now. And if you're working on yourself, being able to release things in the next month, communication, clear communication can happen. You might be able to talk to your person because I think they did say in there, uh, we need to talk, can we learn more or something, or I need to learn more, can we talk as well. Let's get some other energies. And for some of you, just a message coming through, but it's only going to resonate with some of you, that you might actually have, um, you know, it could be over text or phone call or an email or messenger or whatever, um, you might actually communicate with your person that you that you just want to release this between the two of you and and have no hard feelings between the two of you. That's just going to be significant for some of you. So it says here, bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. So love will be brought into the situation. Try and focus on the love between you rather than the hurt. Um, surrender to the divine, knowing that divine timing is everything. Knowing that the divine has a plan. Bring love into your own heart. Heal yourself. Send your person love. Oh, these are all coming out. It's weird. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So spirit is going to help you to do that, I feel. Um, because sometimes when we have been hurt, we kind of get a bit tunnel vision. You know, we get a bit of a tunnel vision going on as to what the other person has done. And sometimes it's hard to look at our own um, part in it. Communication is key. So it's really important. Something has been unresolved. Maybe it just left off. You know, maybe you just stopped talking and there was no resolution in any way with anything. And it's just kind of up in the air. 
And so communication is really important here and show the world the real you and balance spirituality and practicality here as well. Some of these cards came up in reading number one and this could be, you know, you could watch reading number one because it's kind of similar in some, in some ways here. Um, so yeah, just maybe watch that one as well if you like to, but this is your reading today and I hope it's resonated. Uh, don't forget to put a green heart in the comments section below if you want to be in the draw to win a private reading with me or to go in the draw to win a deck of my cards divine love messages from your twin flame soulmate and your person saying I blame myself so it's like it's not the blame game anymore towards you they actually are looking at their own stuff now and where they need to own it see we saw before I'm owning it um and I'm growing up now and learning about this and they do want healing in this guys so I hope that's resonated and I look forward to connecting with you next time love and blessings hi group three welcome guys you chose a cute little angel the praying angel I'm gonna put her over here and I've got message cards all around me right now so I'm just gonna do what spirit guides me to do regarding which ones I'm using first this could be a message from your person's higher self or from a shadow side, um, depending on what the messages are. And um, take the messages that resonate and leave what doesn't, do uh, doesn't guys. Alright, so let's get started. Which one am I using? Alright, these ones. Let's see what your person wants to say to you. What's going on with them right now? What do they want to say to you? Planning. I know that I want you in my future. I'm working on making the proper plans. And battle. I've tried my best to move on, but I can't seem to let you go. And no strings. I want you close to me, but I'm not ready for a commitment. So what this is saying basically is that your person has tried to move on to the, like with the best they can, um, but they can't let you go. They just cannot. No matter what they do, they can't get you off their mind. They can't get you out of their heart. Um, so they are planning to have you in their future. Uh, they're making proper plans to come forward, but at the moment they're not ready for a full-blown connection, like as in a commitment, I should say. Um, they're not ready for that just yet, but I feel like they are planning on coming back to you in terms of um, maybe even reaching out for, you know, some communication. Um, they can't get you off their mind. They just can't let you go. Can't seem to shake you guys. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's, don't see it as a bad thing if some of you want a commitment. It could be that just at the moment, you know, they just want to take baby steps forward into this. Because they do love you. I love you, they say. I love you. And I want to come back to you, hold you, kiss you and love you. I desire it. But it's just not the right time right now. So they are understanding that they do really want to come back. Maybe they want to rush back into this. But at the same time, they know it's going to take some planning. Um, maybe they've got some stuff in their life they still need to tie loose up in, uh, up to tie loose ends um, up with. And they just don't feel like they can... Um, they want to make sure that they've got everything kind of sorted in their life before they come back and return. I think I was trying to say tie up loose ends, but yeah, I can't talk today for some reason. The other readings were okay, but for some reason I can't bloody talk. And sometimes when that does happen, it's because your person has issues with communication. Um, during our time apart, I'm growing and learning every single day. Step by step, I'm becoming the person you deserve. And I don't care about what other people think anymore. I just want to be with you. And my whole body burns at the thought of you. So they've got a lot of passion for you. And they are learning and growing. And that's part of that planning too, I feel. And I feel so, I feel you so strongly. I can taste your essence. They're yeah, very passionate. 
and your face haunts me day and night. So they are seeing you in their mind when they close their eyes. They're just, they can't get you out of their mind. Um, and they just can't seem to shake you. How can I ever pay you back for the beautiful things you've done? And I have been watching you from a distance. I'm thinking about you right now. So as you're watching this, they're thinking of you. Please understand that I was in pain. I never meant to ruin things. I never meant to ruin us. So your person has some internal stuff going on. Wow. Hang on a minute. <laughs> they're flying everywhere. Do you even realize how amazing you are to me? They're on the floor. Hang on, guys. Quite a few fell down. I am struggling to find the right words to say to you. Yeah, that's what I was feeling is that there's this communication block um, that they struggle. And I can't wait for the day we will start living our life together. And please don't doubt my love for you. It's the only thing I'm sure of. So it's funny, isn't it? Because on one hand, they're saying no strings. I want you close to me, but I'm not ready for a commitment. But they really do want you in their life. They do want to start this... Um, beautiful start you know beginning with you um, and they do love you they really do love you so it's interesting that's come up twice here don't doubt my love for you I love you there might have been someone that couldn't say it you mean more to me than you know I'm a big mess and that's the last thing you need right now which is why I have to plan things through and I'm battling things in my life right now Wow, man. Seriously, this is flying out. This So many cards. Wow, wow, wow. Hang on. Oh, my God. They're flying everywhere. Walk with me into destiny. Your person's got a lot to say today. You are my wish come true. So they feel that you're destined to be together. You are their wish. Uh, opposites attract. So they might feel that in some ways you did clash a lot, but they're starting to realize that really in some ways you could complement each other. Let's set this love free and wash over me. I'm miserable without you. Please don't let go. They might have felt you moving on without them. We need to rewrite our history. So they want a fresh slate with you. I will always cherish you because they didn't before. They didn't cherish you as much as they wanted to. I'm reminded of you every time I see the sunrise. So every morning when they wake up, they're thinking of you. And I can't do this without you. <clears throat> they're really missing you they're really missing you so hold on to the happy memories and cherish the sad ones as they both bring great lessons so they're learning from their past you are my twin flame so they might be aware of this that you share the same soul that you are their other half I want you to be happy and I could only work with what I had at the time that's why they can't let you go, especially if you are twin flames. You can never run away from your twin flame. You always come back. They always come back. And that might be something that they're getting frustrated with because it just didn't seem to be working. They thought they just had to move on and they just can't seem to move on from this. It keeps coming back to you. And I'm hearing that um, Maroon 5 song, It Was Always You. I think that's the name of the song. Um, it Was Always You. And stuck, I can't break out of these illusions. So at the moment, they're just, yeah, battling stuff, trying to move past things in their life. Making plans. And I'm walking a thin line between being okay and being a complete mess, unstable. And I'm ready to break free. Freedom, look at that. I'm ready to break free out of these shackles that are keeping me back. These karmic cycles or my fears or illusions could be the fears. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> All right, let's have a look then. What else? We will be together again. And I hide behind material things. So it could be at the moment that they're just getting busy, stuck into their work, not really getting in touch with their emotions right now. Just, just thinking logically, trying to do everything. I want you. 
and I want to feel that way again with you. Wow. They really look at you as someone who brought the sunshine into their life. You really brought warmth into their life. And they weren't expecting, I feel very strongly, that your person was not expecting to feel these things. They thought that they could just move on and break free from this. And, um, yeah, they, they, they can't. It's like you are etched into their mind, their heart. And the heart can be blind and frozen. You bring joy into my life. So you have, maybe they came in and they, they did have some pain from their past and somehow you melted their heart, you know, you melted their heart and actually made them see what true love is. So what do they want to say to you? I am supportive. So they're coming through with a supportive energy. Maybe beforehand they weren't really able to support you and now they want to, wow, come into this. There's too many there. They want to, or those two want to come out. So I am transparent. So they want to be open with you and I am uh, balanced. They don't want to hide things from you. They want to be really open. I am brave and I am active. So they want to take action. They want to, they want to be courageous and come forward now, but they want to do it the right way. That's why there's plans there. So can we just kiss all night? And you feel like the sweetest home I've ever, I've never known. And everything you've ever said to me, I've taken to heart. And I was not looking for something like this. They might have just thought, you know, that no strings thing too. Uh, could have been that at the time they just were trying to keep it as a no strings type thing. And they just are, pat are battling with that now in their heart that they feel like you're more than just that. They do actually see a life with you. I could listen to your voice for days on end. They love your voice, your speaking voice or your singing voice. I want you by my side. And I let other people get in the way. So either that's literally letting other people intervene or it could be a karmic like an ex-partner um, or their family. Or it could just be letting people get in the way, like allowing other people to just um, like listening too much to other people's opinions. You can trust me. I have the life. I love the life I have lived. So in other words, in a lot of ways, they are proud of where they've come from. And, and now they might be ready to settle down. You know, I didn't know how to tell you. And I couldn't stay. So I didn't know how to tell you that I couldn't stay. Um, I'm sorry. So there could have been some real issues going on. They didn't know how to explain it. Um, yeah. They just didn't know how to explain it. So I just want to curl up in a corner and forget about the world. Wow. They, as I said, they've got a lot to say. The silence is deafening me. So you could be in a no contact situation. You are the first person I think of when I wake up and the last person I think of before I fall asleep. So we saw that sunshine card before. Um, I am reminded of you every sunrise. Um, so it's what they're doing is waking up thinking about you. I know we communicate telepathically, but I long for your loving touch. And I wasn't strong enough. It was easier to walk away. So it was the hardest decision I've ever made, but at the time I thought it was the right one. I now realize how wrong I was. See, this is what I think it was. Um, it's interesting. It was easier to walk away. I wasn't strong enough, but at the same time, it was a very hard decision to do. And they thought it was the right thing to do. But now they know how wrong they were because they're starting to feel like they can't shake you, that you mean something really important to them. I often catch myself daydreaming about you and the life we could have, but then reality hits hard that you're not there, you're not available perhaps to them. Um, I've been thinking of the first day we met. I wish we were there again. 
So your person's really reflecting on a lot of things here and they're holding on to the happy memories, cherishing the sad ones because they realize they do bring great lessons. <clears throat> it's taught them a lot about themselves. It seems like you've moved on so fast. It's like you didn't really care about us. It's how they're feeling. And if I came back now before I am ready, I would only hurt you more, which is why they need to plan. So let's get a shadow message. What do they want to say from their shadow self? So they say, I can't make contact. It's all too hard. They just, yeah, they feel like um, they just can't do this right now. Um, I've withdrawn because I feel numb inside. Um, my spiritual growth is stunted at this time. So I think that's also what they're working on. And I don't know what you want from me or this connection. That's their shadow self talking. We all have a beautiful loving side and we all have love in our hearts. We can also have fears and shadows and, you know, our illusions and things like that. Uh, insecurities. So they say, I hope you're happy. And I do wish you well. Isn't that beautiful? That is really beautiful. They do wish you well. They really do genuinely and sincerely hope that you are happy wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, my God, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's real regret here. And I don't know what to say. Yeah, they're stuck for words. That's what I'm getting here. They're lost for words. They don't know really, they're not ready yet to come forward because they don't really know what to say. So I regret how I handled the situation with you. I was really immature. And I admire your strength. And I'm manifesting a new beginning for us. That's what they're planning, that's what they hope to do really beautiful in that way so let me love you to death <laughs> yeah, they want to show so much love they want to shower you with love you are seared into my heart so you're etched into their mind and heart and I long for the time when your lips would kiss mine did it say something about kissing I can't remember now but uh, yeah they really they really want to kiss you and they're thinking about that and say you want me for a lifetime because I think it's that I want you and in you I see the depth of my life's true meaning. Yeah, there's that twin twin flame type of energy here. Um, they really started, you really awakened them to something really special here. And I don't know, maybe you came closer to, than anybody, you know, because it, it just feels to me like they can't shake you. There's something about you that they just know is very special. It's very special. So if you're a divine feminine watching this for a divine masculine message, we're going to get a couple of these from your divine masculine. Would you take my independence away from me? So they are worried that, you know, they might be an independent person who's very busy doing things and they don't want to be trapped in that commitment. Maybe that's that no strings um, energy that we saw here before with this I want you close to me but I'm not ready for a commitment I think deep down they would love to have a life and a commitment with you but I think it's that part that scares them that if they were to jump into a commitment that suddenly they would be trapped in this and they can't be themselves they can't be independent maybe they've been single a long time or they're just um, used to having things their own way type thing and they've worked hard to be where they're at perhaps but they definitely want this settled life. Um, my moods fluctuate and my mind changes frequently. I don't want to hurt you. And I'm processing. I'm working out what to do, what to say and how to, to do it. That's why I need time. So your person definitely is planning but needs to. And they said I don't know how what to say. So they're, they're trying to work it out. They're processing everything. Happy birthday. I'm sorry I missed your birthday. I was afraid to reach out in case you expected too much too soon. I will make it up to you, I promise. So if you've got a birthday coming up, this is also a message that they might not be there for it. 
and I'm realizing I know I have blocked our union and I know I'm really blocking myself so they're coming to that realization so let's have a look then at what's going to happen in the next month okay so within eight weeks then so within two months let's see um, not this time okay so it could still take a bit longer than two months I know you don't want to hear that um, but it could still be over the next two months they're still working out things in their life past life connection definitely they know they're reflecting on this that you, they know you they know your soul they know you've had lives together and news is on the way okay so you might still hear from them but it might not just be time to come together so it's you know showing once again that they are returning to you from the past as they always will and the energy is surrendered to the divine allow divine timing so it's saying not this time allow the divine the universe to bring in that at the right time and hold your vision so keep your vision on the outcome rather than the process uh, look at the bigger picture see it from their side as well and luck is on your side new moon in Sagittarius so you've got two Sagittarius energies there someone could be a Sagittarius um, but it's just definitely showing luck is on your side here hold on to your vision surrender to the divine guys so I hope that's resonated um, put a comment below guys a green heart don't forget to put a green heart I should say <laughs> oh my god don't for <laughs> I can't talk <laughs> don't forget to put a green heart in the comment section if you want to be in the draw to win a private reading with me or to go in the draw to win a deck of my cards divine love messages from your twin flame soulmate and your person says you are the one I dream of you are the one and they're dreaming of you guys as well so I hope that's resonated and I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings. Okay, guys, we're going to do the, the bonus messages. Let's see what else your person wants to say to you. These are the untold messages of the heart by Aqua Moonlight. Wow. So risk. I'm ready to take a leap of faith and risk it all for you. Walls. I feel like I can't get through to you. Please let me in. Memory, I miss you. So your person probably wants you to take a risk as well. Let your walls down. And magnet, I keep being drawn back to you and I can't quite explain why. And guilt, hurting you was never my intention, but now it's hurting me too. So then we've got Charming Oracle Love Messages by Sarah. And your person says, I was thinking about reaching out to you, but then I panicked and stopped myself. I feel very insecure. You are the one I've been looking for. You complete me. I left you before you could leave me. I have serious abandonment issues that I need to clear first before we can truly be together. I will be back soon, don't worry. I feel frustrated with myself because I'm afraid that you are going to be the one that got away. I wish I had the courage to come back for you, but I just don't feel ready. I need more healing time first. And I've been taking you for granted. I'm sorry. Now I finally feel the consequences of my, ac of my actions. I hope I haven't lost you for good. These are White Rose Guidance Cards, Divine Love Messages, Volume 1. And this says, I have no words for your kindness and generosity. And what I would give to run my fingers through your hair and these are from White Rose Guidance as well Lindsay Divine Love Messages Volume 2 I want more with you one day you feel like the sweetest home I've never known and this one's uh, upright I'm afraid if you touch me you will destro destroy me And I tried to stop these feelings, but now you are burning hotter and brighter than ever within me. 
These are the Unspoken Messages of Truth and Love Conversation Deck by Ashley Snow. Our karma is now complete. So maybe both of you have gone through a karmic cycle now that you can, you've learned your lessons. I should have told you sooner. This hasn't been easy on me. Be true to yourself. You are perfect to me. I'm sorry. I love the life I have lived. You can trust me. So this is their shadow message. This is in the shadows oracle cards by All Things Intuitive. And they say we are not right for each other. I was careless with you. And that's why they have these um, self-blame going on that they didn't feel that they treated you very nicely. So they feel like maybe they're not good for you. And you are not part of my plan. And I couldn't tell you face to face. Don't forget there's a loving side and there's also an insecure side. Um, this might not all be really exactly what they're truly feeling. This is just their fears coming through. Other people are affecting our connection. This is their shadow message. These are my own cards. Divine love, uh, the divine yin yang oracle for lovers. Messages of shadow and light. So what you do is you say, I want a shadow message. I feel stressed about our connection when things are off balance. Now we can get a light message, a higher self message from your person which says, yes, your instincts are correct. I have very deep feelings for you. So this is just their fears talking, okay, about you not being part of their plan, that kind of thing. Um, but they definitely have deep feelings for you. Maybe in some ways they still feel they don't deserve you. Um, let's have a look at the other ones. This is the Hidden Truth Oracle, also by All Things Intuitive. So I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. So it could be for some of you that your karma is complete, that, you know, there was a spiritual lesson you needed to have together and now you can move on. That's only for some of you. So many things remind me of you. And we will be together again. And I will wait for a sign from you, but at the moment I am not available. <laughs> so it could be that, you know, at the moment they've got some things they still need to fix out in their life. Um, they want to be together with you, but they, yeah, they still have some things to sort out. And we've got Ocean of Emotion cards by Bridget Rao. Beauty, your natural beauty takes my breath away. And can we forgive and forget? Surrender. And I don't know how to fix the pain in my heart. Broken. So they do feel broken. They see that you are so beautiful and they are feeling broken because they also hurt you. They didn't want to do that to you. We've got Love Journey Oracle by Bridget Rao as well. I wrote you a letter I'm afraid to send and I always knew it was you. Now, one of the readings I did, I can't remember which one it was now, I had the Maroon 5 song come through, it was always you. So that's a significant message for you guys. Oops, shit. <laughs> Just tipped the camera, sorry guys. So we got Love Messages by High Priestess 1111. I'm truly sorry for my words and actions. I get butterflies every time my eyes lock with yours. Oh, on the floor. All right, hang on. So it says, my heart never knew loneliness until you walked away. I'm missing you. We got the divine oracle that I created. Any of my decks that you're uh, interested in, uh, you can find in the link um, description box below. There's links if you want to check them out. Thank you for doing so. 
Optimism, summer. So things could start looking up around summer. We've got the farewell card here as well. So at the moment it might be goodbye, but things might start um, coming to life again. Yeah, because they want to rebuild with you, see? So after a time of farewell, there is this optimism coming through. Oh, look. I miss you. Yeah, it's so beautiful. They do miss you. They really do. And these are my... Divine Confessions of a Broken Heart, Volume 1 and Volume 2. So we've got, I've kept my feelings for you secret. I now want to tell you how much you mean to me. I spy on your social media. And, wow. Um, I'm glad you can't see me now. I'm a mess. So they're hiding away, watching you, spying on your social media, Glad that you can't see them in their life right now. They don't feel like they've got it together. And I've tried to move on, but it's so hard to do. You won't leave my heart. That was in group three's reading. Um, I tried sending you a message, but got scared and deleted it. I'm making a conscious effort to work through my fears of rejection. And we've also got my little divine radiant oracle that I created. Uh, I am funny, so they're coming into a sense of humour, which is good. <laughs> and um, I am genuine. I am blossoming, so they want you to know they're blossoming in their life. They are coming through with this genuine energy. I am healthy, so they're, they're becoming healthy. And I am fair. So it could be that they do have fair hair, <laughs> opposed to dark hair. But it could also be that they are becoming fair and balanced. Like they're wanting to be fair, bring fairness into the connection. Not just see it from their way, from their side. Confessions of the Soul by Made for Love. So we've got, you have inspired me to be the best version of myself. And I tried to deceive you. Um, but I was only deceiving myself. The player got played. So, you know, for some of you that could have been a betrayal. Um, but they might have been just lying to themselves about their feelings. I had to walk away to work on myself. And I'm working on myself so that I can love you the way you deserve to be loved. And I know you're the one. It's a very strong message in a lot of these readings here. We've got uh, Love Notes by Jordan's Tarot. And this says, I want to protect you from my scars. And I can't find the words for my feelings. Well, not never, but not now. We can build something special together. My heart is wide open. And in my dreams, I see a beautiful future with you. You help me understand myself. How beautiful. So then we've got my divine love messages from your twin flame soulmate that you have the chance to win. We have had many lifetimes together. And please forgive. Oop. Hold on to the happy memories and cherish the sad ones as they both bring great lessons. I blame myself. So we've got, for those divine feminines who want a divine masculine message specifically, we've got um, Doubts of the Divine Masculine by Sister Moon Tarot. I'm going to do it this way, <laughs> just to be different today. <laughs> I'm not courageous enough to face myself. Yeah, that's why they need a bit more time, I think, too, to work on themselves. I don't know if I'm capable of being a family man and a father. There's those insecurities coming through. And I still have abandonment wounds from my childhood. And then we've got these beautiful cards by Divine, um, by Liz Harrison, Divine Masculine Dark Truths. 
What does your Divine Masculine want to say to you? And we've got, I want you. I can't help wanting you sexually. Your energy excites me and your body and mind turns me on. I want you and right now I don't care about anything else. So there's a lot of fantasizing going on about you. There's this urgency to have you. <laughs> you know, they're yearning for you. They're missing you. They're longing for your body, your touch. Wow, they're everywhere. Hang on a minute. They like to do this a lot. Just fly on the ground all the time. But there's too many in that one. So I'm not going to take all of those. See, there's just way too many. Um, but I'm taking my time. This time I wanted to do things right. That's why I don't want to rush things and risk losing you altogether. I want it to be right. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on. So they have this urge to be with you, this longing and this desiring of you, but they need to step back and just hold themselves back for a bit. And she knows. She knows about us. How can she not? You are the one that I want. I'm being careful. I have to do this the right way. So this is for those of you who have a divine masculine who has a karmic partner. You know, it's funny, like, this is only a very specific message, but I feel like for some of you, this could be the mother in their life, that there could have been this feeling that, you know, against the family, like the family don't think that you are suited together. Could be a thing about the family, like the mother. And I'm frustrated. Please don't pay attention to my moods. I allow my physical world to affect me more than it should. I get frustrated at my life and I know it needs to change. I'm working on this. So, yeah, for a lot of you too, that your person, if it is a karmic partner, um, they're frustrated as well. That They have become very moody because of this situation and they're trying to work it out and they're getting angry and upset with things because they do yearn for you they want you but yet they might be stuck some of them might be stuck in other um, issues and in a connection here anyway guys that is your messages your bonus messages and I look forward to connecting with you